overall? I thought this was a good episode with good humor, and it was cool to see Vosh make a return appearance. But it was too simplistic, and the ideas weren't thought out enough. How close am I? Uh, Shut up. Shut up. (laughs) Then we see Troy talking to Jordy, and she says he is more relaxed than she's ever seen, and keeps pressing him for information about Ryza, which reminded me of her questioning Beverly and the host. What a nosy bitch. (laughs) Don't don't, don't, don't put that... (laughs) Uh, Lord of the Rings, there's one scene where... I don't want to hear anything else, I'll just take your word for it. I know he's a troll, or he's a goblin, or whatever the hell they have in there. Don't talk about Ian McKellen like that. (laughs) Who we've seen before in this show, he played that dog thing in Lonely Among Us, and he played a Romulan in the Neutral Zone. And someone's gonna say in the comments, he goes on to play the main villain in Deep Space Nine. (laughs) So we're gonna review Deep Space Nine starting right now all right deep space nine the enterprise goes through deep space one through eight and <laughs> data determines that the dead alien is about to give birth to a baby as opposed to an adult <laughs> yeah i can't fucking eat while i'm doing this hang on i don't eat while we're doing it i eat in between oh well you're usually eating during my wrap-up yeah because i don't really care what you have to say because i know i'm gonna disagree <laughs> Whatever, we don't know how his powers work, I guess. He snaps his fingers, except for the one time he kind of waved his hand, so he doesn't actually have to snap. Yeah, well, I noticed in this episode he, he, did, a, he did a bunch of stuff without snapping his finger. I mean, he's done it before, too. There's only one snapper car, Q. <laughs> F*** off. <laughs> Jeez, there's so many. It's like the cars are louder in the rain. The sound um, reverberates off of each drop. Creates an echo tunnel effect. Uh-huh. It's science. You probably wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Troy finds herself in one of my dreams, except that she's wearing clothes. But I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to... That's so weird. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I thought they took everything that made him interesting and threw it out and just made him into a completely different character, which they could have done with any other character. Yeah, but I thought it would have been lame to have him be exactly the way he was in the other one. I would have liked to see more of him just interacting with everybody and seeing how they are different from him. Could have done with a lot more of that. I could have done with an entire series like that. <laughs> Maybe him teaming up with uh, with the Corbin Burnson Q. You always got to bring that asshole up. Freaking Corbin Burnson fan club. Burnouts. Describes his career pretty accurately. <laughs> hey, I heard that he watches our videos. Don't say that. <laughs> with uh, with Amanda Pays. Who the hell is that? Uh, Mulder's girlfriend from the, the episode of X-Files from the first season. The British one? Yeah, she's, they're married in real life. Is she actually British? Yeah. Sometimes they fake accents and stuff. Yeah, but she's British. I'm sure this will all end up in the video, too. The whole reason she was on that episode was to infiltrate the U.S. government. She didn't realize it was a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> she just wanted to know how much we had figured out about the alien conspiracy. I'm pretty sure the original title of that episode was Cheerio. <laughs> There's a dumb moment between Data and Dr. Crusher concerning Data worrying about Jordy. It's when she's like, are you worried about Jordy? And he's like, I do not have that capacity, Doctor. And she's like, are you sure? And he's like, yes, I'm an android. And she's like, really? Hmm. And he's like, please go away. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, okay. I have my rage moment here. <laughs> this early? Okay. Identity crisis. <laughs> And doesn't react to how sad she looks as she leaves. It made him a more relatable character to me. I don't know if you should put in the made him a more relatable character. That makes me sound a little too too sociopathic. Because that hasn't been an issue up until now. <laughs> is there any way you can shorten that a little bit? I said their cellular clock is way off. Go ahead and say it. You know I mean? I'm talking too much. Yeah, I know. I, I don't want to talk about this episode. Let's just do Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it now. What is that from? I don't know. I know it's from something. I'm going to type just that into Google and see if I get anything. Okay, no, it's definitely not Predator. That has a bunch of exclamation points after it. You know, it's like, (laughs) come on, do it. Kill me. Get out of here. I'm here. What are you waiting for? (laughs) (laughs) Um, I have a comment that just says she acts like an idiot, but I don't know how to to fit that in. (laughs) That's the first sentence of my wrap-up. <laughs> yeah, I said there was a mediocre explosion. 
It was actually explosion from the Wrath of Khan. Uh, do you want to say that? No, but I'm also <laughs> going to point out that the Britain is also a model from the Wrath of Khan. You don't want to point those things out? Somebody's going to say that in the comments. Then let them. But it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it does, because that's what it is. Yeah, but it, I don't think that's what it's supposed to be on the show. It's, it's not what it's supposed to be on the show, but that's why it's funny, because that's what it actually is. But I don't think it's funny. But it is. <laughs>